بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ڈو واٹ وی اسٹارٹ اے نیو کورس آئی اسٹارٹ اے نیو کورس بیسیکلی سو مے بی مینی آف یو نو می فرام مائی پریویس ویڈیوز فرام ڈیجیٹل لاجک ڈیزائن فرام مے بی سگنل اینڈ سسٹمس مے بی فرام الیکٹرانک ڈیوائس اینڈ سرکٹس سو دیز آر دا تھری کورسز دیٹ آئی ہیو ڈن پریویسلی اینڈ ٹو ڈے دس دیٹ آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ از کورس نمبر فور فار می اینڈ یو ہیو آلریڈی سین اٹ بائی دا ٹائٹل آف دا ویڈیو دیٹ ووڈ بی دی آپریشن آف پاور سسٹم اے پاور سسٹم آپریشن رائٹ سو جسٹ اے لٹل سوئچ ٹو ورڈز دی power side right yes sir so basically basically this is an msc level course msc level course uh, 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 but you could have some undergraduate courses covered in this as well as the power generation it would cover some topics from that and we'll see i'll just write the course contents over here basically my method of teaching is this is lecture number zero where i introduce myself first so i am what i am salar khan and i believe that is enough you know a uet peshawar graduate right currently an msc student at uet peshawar fine and the thing is that uh, the next is that i introduce you to the course so i would write the course title i would write the recommended books i would write the 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 course contents the course outlines and that would be it for the next for this video and we would formally start the the course in the next video right so that is what the the the, the format is for me right yes sir next i need to tell you one thing i've had a, a larger board for this video previously i used to work on a small board so and also i've i've had a little game i've i, I just like to want you to play with the lightning setup so i have just played a little with it so maybe the things are not a hundred percent perfect it will get perfect in the upcoming videos because you could say this is a trial version going on right yes so it would take time for me to adjust with the bigger board my handwriting similarly the lightning yes sir yes sir so let me get a little writing on the board as well so the name of the course would be power generation operation and control if you talk about the the full name of it let me write let me write this would be power generation operation and control so this is what the course basically is the the complete name in short if i want to mention it so i would say that we we are doing a power system operation power system operation is that fine it is operation of power system yes sir so what do we have the recommended books i usually write with the red color so vk mehta and rohit mehta that is something very uh, a very important book you need to have any time in your collection so this would be principles of power system principles of power system by v K Mehta and Rohit Mehta and Rohit Mehta this would be book number 1 for book number 2 we would go with wood wulamberg right power generation operation and control so so let me write this power generation operation and control power generation operation and control by whom by wood wulamberg i hope i have written the spellings and the names fine and the third the third maybe you don't get it in a soft form that easily would be electric power generation electric power generation by muhammad naim arbab so this is our teacher right muhammad naim arbab professor at our university university of engineering and technology peshawar the greatest the greatest not one of the great he is the greatest 
right yes sir so these are the recommended books this is the course name now let me write down what let me write down the course contents for you guys so what is the course content so i believe we would be having a shadow somewhere over here you need to just excuse that i'm sorry for that i'll try to fix it although i'll try to fix it let me name over here are the outlines and i believe i've just written this over that shadow let me check let me check no this is just a little in the safe zone we'll talk about the introduction first of all we'll start with the introduction and the introduction would include what the introduction would include the the basic definitions maybe basic definitions and those basic definitions for example you have the connected load you have the maximum demand you have the diversity factor you have the and things like that so basic definitions whatever those are fine yes sir the consumer types maybe industrial consumer uh, residential consumer metropolitan whatever the next would be load calculations load calculations these load calculations would include what they would be they would be basically based on some data analysis you could say load curve load curve we will study load duration curves then we would go for generation scheduling etc etc units to be committed generation extension we'll see that this all comes under the heading of load calculations we we'll go for electric plant characteristics electrical plant characteristics in which we would discuss the characteristics of the plant the power station the generation station which would include what which would include for example the plant capacity factor the loss factor the use factor the utilization factor etc etc so these would be covered under this heading right yes sir generation scheduling so i've already told you that maybe in the load calculations let me give it a sing, uh, another heading as well generation scheduling right yes sir operation economics operation economics which one in this we would be studying about the economic point of view which one is suitable for us which one would be cheaper which one would be better comparing two tariffs maybe maybe two generation plants i'm coming to tariff as well we've got tariff we'll study about tariff right yes the economic analysis again based on different tariffs given by the companies different utilities companies one is offering at one rate the other is offering at other rate we have this energy demand we have this power demand comparison of the two economic analysis right yes sir we talk about the hydroelectric station hydro electric station in this what we will do we will we'll talk about the site considerations where it has to, to be made etc etc site considerations we talk about the storage or we talk about the dams so number one would be a storage hydropower station the other is from a runoff we will talk about this in multiple things in this one then we talk about the thermal power stations we talk about the thermal power stations in which you can have coal fired gas fired power station right cost minimum function you could have coal fired over here you could have oil fired over here we would have a function over here the cost minimum function we'll discuss these things in this heading the next would be and i believe uh, this portion would be uh, visible that, that would be the hydro thermal coordination yes i have a little bit of a space i would have a hydro thermal coordination in which i would be utilizing both both these systems a hydro system a thermal system a hydro thermal coordination in this the important thing would be the coordination equation 
coordination equation multiple other things then the operational economics of this the economic analysis right yes and finally i would come to the power factor power factor so that would be the the end to this power factor would be the last topic and in power factor what would we do we will first do the introduction to the power factor then we will talk about the correction of power factor then we will talk about the rating of the power factor correction equipment and then we will talk about the economic analysis of that economic analysis of both economic analysis without power factor correction what would be the cost with power factor correction what would be the cost what would be the cost of the power factor correct power factor correcting equipment as well as the rating of that equipment so that is it that is it this is the 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 outline of the course this is the outline of the course so as a power system engineer studying a power system we are basically we are basically interested in the economic point of view of that right so which means the cost to benef benefit ratio the cost to benefit ratio we are interested in and that should be less than one the benefit should be greater than the cost we'll see that we'll see that cost to benefit ratio is the thing that you should keep in mind for the overall course over here cost to benefit ratio right yes sir so uh, one thing else uh, before this previously previously uh, if i say so i've told you that anyway just let this go the thing is that we also have a website this is my youtube channel by my name salar khan and we have a website that is by the name of coreacademy.com coreacademy dot com so this is the website where you can find my handwritten notes and the recommended books right yes and other relevant material as well so from here, over here you have uh, material for class 9 10th first year second year as well you have your mbbs material present over here as well bsc electrical engineering each and every subject my handwritten notes the recommended books the relevant stuff is everything present on this website everything done by me for the electrical engineering part this is my first course that i'm starting for the for the for the msc engineering so i i have not made a portion for the msc over there but i will do that and these books you can find in any power course right we get math android math you should have in hard form with yourself i have a copy over here i have a pirated copy over here i believe and this is the this is it i hope you can see so you should have this uh, this book you must have this book not should you must have this book right yes so i believe i believe this is an enough introduction i don't want you guys to get bored so uh, uh, you have any suggestions you have any uh, anything you you need to tell me about my handwriting about the colorful you you like it colorful you like it with a simple about the audio quality the video quality the lightning anything you're most welcome in the comment section right yes sir so i'll finish this video over here i will see you in the next one where i formally start the course so till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers and one thing you have to subscribe to the channel yes so that is something beneficial for me the course would be beneficial for you in return you would have to subscribe to the channel yes that should be it goodbye